Okay, so for the NAT testing now, we've, d we've uh, described the pipetting, uh, we've described the extraction of the RNA and, and, and making it into DNA, we've described amplifying and detecting it to find out if there's any virus there in the beginning. So now, well, we started with a pool of 24. So let's say now we ended up with a pool that's positive. What we don't know is out of those 24, which one of those is the positive sample. So for NAT testing now, what we have to do is we will take those 24 samples and we'll split them up into four groups of six. So that's called a secondary testing. So we will test each one of these now that are pools of six. So hopefully, three of those should be negative and you'll have one positive pool of six. That's called secondary testing. But now we don't know which one of those six is positive, so then those are taken and we will test those individually. So out of the 24, we break them down into pools until we can identify the actual one sample that was positive in that pool. The reason why we pool in NAT testing is because the extraction process is a technique um, very specific, it's very time consuming. Uh, the whole assay is about nine hours and it's, uh, it's very difficult. You get to the very end of nine hours and the test has failed. So what we do is we do pooling for NAT. Okay. Depends on the test. Um, because the, it's a donor base, we don't get very many reactive samples. Our most, uh, the samples that are usually reactive are the uh, auto donors, autologous donations. Uh, tend to be, be the most reactive ones that we get. Our donor base, we get very few of them. Well, what we do is, is uh, to avoid what we call messing up a pool, because it holds up 24 units. When we get a positive pool, those 24 units, because we don't know which unit is positive, we actually have to quarantine all 24 of those units. And then the next, so it, is, it takes about three days. The next night, we're going to break them down in pools of six. Though that, that would allow us to re release 18. And then the next night, which is the third night, then we're doing the individuals on it. So what we do is we will make pools out of all of our repeat donors first. Because our repeat donors we've tested over and over again. We know they're negative. So what we do is we will um, uh, purposely pool all of our repeat donors in pools. And then we will save first-time donors, auto donors, uh, DD donors. We'll make those pools out of those units so that we haven't, uh, we don't hold up the, the normal population of blood so we can release it.